Hi, Tim from Priority Thinking here. Just a quick video on how to integrate Amazon affiliate links with WooCommerce products. So here it is in the editor. I've got a couple of these product grids, one for office equipment, one for studio equipment. And the idea is that if you click on the image or on this purchase button on the live site, it'll take you just right to the Amazon affiliate link. And I wanna go ahead and add another product to this grid here. So I'm gonna go over to this products page I'm going to add new, and while that's loading, I've already um, identified a product that I want to add to my website, and that's this printer here. And you can search for items or products in the Amazon, uh, what's this called, the Amazon Associates portal here, um, but I feel like this just kind of gives you a little bit more detail, and what I can do now is go up into the URL and grab this Amazon uh, product ID and take this over and search for this so that just returns the one product that I'm sure that's the one that um, that's the link that I want and then I'll click get link here and that'll give me all the information I need about this product and it does enable you to just copy paste this code into your website but I didn't really like how this looked and it's not um, dynamic it doesn't scale well so that's another reason that I'm um, adding them into WooCommerce products rather than just using the link that they provide. So back on the um, add new product screen here, I'm going to add HP Office Get 8210. And I've seen people take all this information right here and just drop it into their post, which um, I guess is fine. I might come back and refine these in the future, just so that the there are more or there are better keywords. So if someone was to search the site for um, affordable professional color, then this would show up, even though it's not really those keywords aren't associated with the actual product um, title. So on the side here, I'm going to add it to the technology category. And I'm going to add it to the office product tag, and we can see back in the um, editor in this uh, product grid here, in this query, that I've got um, a couple limitations on what this is returning. So it's returning things in the technology category with the office tag. That's all that is. And then I need to come down to this product data and switch it to the external affiliate product. So that gives us um, this product URL field. And I'm just going to go ahead and change the button text to purchase just to match the other ones. And I've got to manually enter the uh, purchase price as well. So back on this screen, purchase price is 191.36. 1136. Whoops. Oh, numlock is off. 1136. Then I need to get the Amazon affiliate link. So if I switch to text only, and down at the bottom, they have this big long link or they have the short link. So I'm going to use the short link because it is shorter, whoops, um, add this into the product URL, don't know what happened to my decimal places there, um, and then at the bottom, so this is a pretty important part to making this work, I use a plugin called Page Links 2, so here's the, here's the plugin page, and this just enables um, us to, if they click on the image, that's the featured image for a page, or in this case, a product, is going to take us directly to an external link rather than an internal product page. So I will just choose custom URL. I'll add that same short link here, have it open in a new tab, and we're good to go. So the last thing that we need is a featured image. And my phone's ringing, one sec. Um, so I'm just going to save this real quick, or publish it, whatever. And I'm going to go get that image. Yeah, so back on the Amazon Associates page, go to this image here. And what I like to do is just right click, open the image in a new tab, and then just save this image. And I will name it, um, well, I'm going to name it, I'm going to overwrite this, uh, this image that I've made in a previous video in a previous try at this video. And I know that I want all of my images, so here's all the ones that are currently on the web page, 
to be 250 pixels by 250 pixels. And this one is not. So I'm going to need to edit this. I'll edit it with um, paint.net here. And I'm just going to increase the height of this picture up to 250 and save it back. And we're good to go. So there it is. Now it is 250 pixels. Oh, I guess I gotta refresh it. Now it is 250 pixels by 250 pixels. And I go back to the edit product page here, set product image, and I'm going to upload a file just by dragging it over. There's the printer image, set as product image, and then give this a save, and we should be good to go. That should be all we needed to do. So we'll just verify by letting this complete its update. And then I should be able to look at this page here and refresh. And we should see the printer in this office equipment product grid. There it is. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.